Good day and welcome to episode 2 of our Airport CEO series. Today we are mainly going to be focusing on making our airport look a little bit better because right now it looks, uh, well it looks pretty drab. I wouldn't want to go through there to get anywhere. So we're going to wait for a few flights to come in and maybe start working on researching some shops uh, after we get our emergency response units. So, first thing, we're going to need to figure out how we're going to lay this out in such a way that will allow for expansion later. I think this area is pretty good. Maybe we can put like a coffee shop or something in the middle of this bit of terminal. Uh, let's see, let's go to planning mode. Let's just plan out some walls, try and figure this out. I think we're gonna want. Uh, let's, let's see. Uh, no. Bring that down a couple. I think we're going to expand our terminal about like that. Allow for larger flights to come in. So we can put out there. Put a wall across here. It'll be this will be a restaurant of some kind. Probably another set of bathrooms right here. A set of bathrooms here. Just hit the restroom before they get on their longer flights. Restaurant. Have a staff room back here. do in this area. We'll figure out what to do with this area later. Now, we're going to want a lot of this to be open, but we can come across here. Not sure what we're gonna do with this space either. But we're gonna figure out something to put in this space. This would be a couple of shops, just split it roughly down the middle. And yeah. The gaps on all these. Grab our secure zone. Make sure that's all the same zone. Just put a gap here, here, and here for now, just to keep it all nice and consistent. Alright, and I think that's a pretty decent start for us. Still leaves lots of open space here to work with, but... We'll get to that when we get there. So, how far are we on that? Oh, we're still... Let's speed time up a little bit. Get through that a bit quicker. And I think security's doing well right now. We're gonna leave this area open, and we're going to expand security a bit later, once we start getting these bigger medium flights that are gonna be coming through here. And we've got our baggage area coming through here. This is the first time I've remembered to do that ever, so I'm excited about that. Need to figure out where we're going to build our baggage handling area. Actually... Let's 
see, are we still in planning mode? Uh, we were not. But... Let's go back into planning mode, grab a wall. Put it there. This, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Tell you what, maybe if we make sure we're in planning mode. We're in planning mode. Alright. What if instead of this... Bring this out to about here. Make this all a secure zone again. Because for some reason it has to separate itself. And then this will be our baggage handling area. Let's see. Uh, we can't access that yet. But we can mess with this area a little bit once we once we've got that available. So 42% of the way there, so it'll take a few more minutes. In the meantime, Probably want to get a hangar, the small aircraft. So in planning mode. Grab a small hangar. We're going to kind of put it back a little bit from the taxiway. Add some taxiway like that, and. I don't know why I did this. Don't ask, I just... I don't know, I thought it looked pretty good. So that's all built up. And we've got some more flights to schedule for Sunday. Right. Maple is gonna have another flight to here. Moving all of your flights down here. And then we're gonna just swap Maple and Nordic, because it seems like they're the ones giving us the most flight. Uh, Trinity's loading up now. but we'll get through it. Uh, can we put this up here where that maple flight was? We can. And now maple wants to put a flight there. Oh, damn. Uh, here, we'll just put it here. Schedule it a couple days out. So it looks like tomorrow's gonna be pretty full. 23 of the possible 25 flights on a single runway airport with, I don't know, not the greatest layout, but it works. It works for us. More flights, more maple. like we lost quite a bit. You know what? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and say build all of this. Uh, 
That is a lot of money, but I think it'll do us better in the long run. And we're almost there on emergency response units. So let's go up here. Demolish this bit of fence. Just the whole thing. Get rid of it. And we're going to ignore the fence for right now. More flights. Important to schedule them as they come because we don't have auto scheduler yet. That Nordic flight is going to have to wait until... Let's see, that's 0835. So we want to land at 0820. Can we do that? Barely, yes. Use just enough time for another flight. Right here. There's our construction workers going for it. I'm going to go ahead and demolish this bit of wall. And we need to designate that as a secure zone now. Whole thing. Just the same zone. There we go. Now this actually has managed to look even more barren than it did before. You know what we need? We need some plants. We're gonna start with a giant tree. It's right here. Two of them. Why? I don't know the holidays. Get some nice hedges going. Just across the back of each of these. Um, okay, that's just saying that we got emergency units going. We're going to finish placing hedges on the backs of these chairs first, and then we can go and place those things. I don't know, I think it just makes it look a little better in here. Alright, let's see. Build an emergency response station. Where? Where should we put it? We're gonna put it here. It's probably not a good idea, but we're gonna put it there. Put the police station right there. I'm sure if these videos are ever seen, someone will have something to say about that. Strike prevention system. We upgrade bird strike prevention. Put that right up next to the runway. We've got more flights to schedule. Where can we put them? Tuesday. 
put them on Tuesday. And this is a mess. We will clean this up later. Just trying to get as many flights in here as I can right now. Florida, Maple, you've got two that want to land. Go there, and you cannot go anywhere. But you, you're on Wednesday now. to make a patrol route for everything. So that's under security officer patrol. So you're going to come from in front of the staff room, back to the bathrooms. Down this hall. here, and right back to where you started. Could be worse. Probably going to delete it anyway, but... Security... Police car patrol. Okay, you're gonna come from here. Go down to the end. Back to where you started. Since that's the only bit of road we've got, might as well use it. Alright. Remove patrol, remove the security officer patrol. medium aircraft permit now, or, or, let's see, we need a strategy director for that, so we're going to go for our medium aircraft project, follow the tutorial a little bit, but then we're going to go to executives, and we're going to hire a Strategy director will hire Maxim. Yeah, probably the better choice, who knows? And we've got him. We also want to get a COO, I think. Oh, let's see. CFO. It'll be neat later. CIO has the auto planner. HR director lets us set salaries. That could be useful. Uh, we really want to hire all these guys, don't we? See, who do we need? CFO, COO, CIO. All of the C something O's except for me. And HR and procurement. We don't have any HR. Let's get. Get you, you're cheaper. We've got the strategy we need procurement and HR. I'm going to keep forgetting that. I are you. And we just gotta wait for someone to apply who's an HR director. Which, funnily enough, is kind of the one I was most excited about, but, well. 
Let's see, do we have... We do have crappy HR. We're gonna go ahead and reject them. Actually, we're gonna reject anyone that isn't showing green. And we can hire this guy. <laughs> Kinda tempted, but I feel like things would run poorly. The idea is that we start making money before their salaries become too much of an issue. Alright, 42% of the way there, and then we can build our medium check and desks here. And set it up in such a way that we can have the baggage claim. I think we'll start with two medium check and desks. So we're going to need to buy another plot of land before we can get medium planes. Alright, so looking at the time, I don't want to make this episode run too, too long. So I'm going to go ahead and run a couple of the research projects off camera here in a moment. Do some design and build. After we get these flights assigned. Got more Trinity flights. are all placed and I will see you guys in a few seconds all right so we made a few changes since I left y'all updated the flooring in here so it at least has a look We've added two shops here We've added key mines for security and for the medium check-in desk as well as the other four. And we have added baggage. Now this area was way too small, even with all or even without all the walls in there. So we went ahead and made it bigger. Now that should do. So here in a few minutes we're gonna try that. We have spent a lot of money. As our uh, gentleman here is telling us, hey, you lost twenty-six thousand today. You lost nineteen thousand yesterday. But it's like everyone's giving us at least okay ratings. So, from what I understand, with baggage, now we need to add some sort of security with the bags, or maybe that's another update we need to do. Yeah, I think that's another update we'll need to get. adjacent land. Now I've not really set this up in such a way that will allow us to conveniently place a medium runway. I don't know, this is... this is uh, a bit of a problem, I think. And 
Now to leave us with just a million dollars. Which seems like a lot, but really isn't. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. One million dollars. Now I can get this medium runway for another 375,000. Ooh, a medium vintage stand or a medium asphalt stand. Uh, we're gonna wait on those for a minute, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this fence. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this one as well. Because it links up good enough right here, right? Yeah. We'll call that good enough. Now, I would like to get some more flight stands. Because... Or some more uh, flight contracts, because those three are just not enough. But that requires more stands. This is... this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and... It's just barely too long for that, too. Can't put it there. Alright, this is going to become the pilot's new favorite runway. We're going to put it way down here. Come in right over the middle of that medium runway. Alright. Build a medium stand. Vintage one is cheaper, but has a higher operating cost, so it will cost us more in the long run. But I'm real low on money, though. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Oh, damn it. Uh, that... That's tight. It's real tight, but I think we can do it. Ahead and get three of those placed. Add a ramp. One there. And one there. -ish. Yeah, that ought to do. We're running real low on money. haven't unlocked this area yet. What? Alright. Yeah, we can make that work, but that's... That's real tight. We are out of money. So we're gonna go ahead and bulldoze this up here since we can't use it yet. Kinda need to connect that up. So it looks like we're gonna take out a loan. Because that's a real smart thing to do when we're this tight on money. Hourly cost 4,000. Let's look at our hourly average. I... I don't know 
if we can make that work. We're gonna try it though. We're gonna try it. Here's what we can do also. We can up our price for passenger handling and add a dollar charge for bathroom usage. That, that's a low thing to do, but we can do that. And small aircraft are $550 now. The airlines aren't going to be particularly happy with that, but they'll get over it. Jet A is now 60 cents a liter. Is that a liter or a gallon? Alright, they're not gonna like that, but it's gonna help us in the long run. So, loans. And we're gonna take this one, just because it's cheaper. That'll allow us to build the rest of our taxiway. building, we're going to go ahead and lay out our path. And it's there. Pull these down. I believe this is the middle of that taxiway, yeah. Inside, need we're gonna just do one medium check and desk per stand for right now. And once those are built, we'll link them. We gotta wait for the taxiway to be finished anyway before we can start taking those contracts. I will say, if you are, for whatever reason, in a position to run an airport in the real world, ever build your runways like this. You don't want to be coming in directly over another runway, especially right next to your terminal. That's just, that's multiple bad ideas. And I just had another realization. We could not build tunnels yet. Well, I know what our next research project is. Let's see. That upgrades that. Structural engineering. No. Where is it? We'll need to build a tunnel before we can... We'll need to build a tunnel before we can offer baggage service.
is actually before we can offer any services over here. No. Yeah, before we can offer any services over here. Oh, wait. That's an idea. I think I figured out how we can do this. We'll just allow everything through there. service road in there. That'll do it. So, yeah, we can offer baggage services, no problem. We'll need to build a tunnel probably here to here-ish. But it's not going to be that big of a deal right now. We've only got eight stands. that. Right. Now while we're waiting for everything to build, we're going to check in on our franchises. Oh, they're not doing so hot. We need to get more people coming through this airport. We can just re-sign the contracts later, but we need to get more people coming through this airport. It's not a secure area. Destroy those walls, please. Because I am about to open the runway. Okay. Now let's go into our contracts. Let's find. Let's sort by airlines. Brown does not have any small flights, so we'll go ahead and sign them. And Stripe does not have any small flights, so we'll sign them. Because we're about as loaded as we can be on small flights. Now we really need this number to start ticking up, because we have more money to pay back than we have by about a hundred thousand. So, ooh, we've already got two large flights coming in today. Three. Three large flights coming in today. Or medium. They're medium. They're not large. Uh, we should probably build up our fence again to
that is our fence done. Oh, shit. Um. baggage in a few minutes. Once that's built up, we'll make it so that only the baggage trucks can go down this way. And then, looks like... Alright, let's go to vehicles. And we're going to assign pushback trucks. Stands along with these stair trucks. And we've just got spares. Excuse me, we've just got spares for when we open the next stand right here. Alright. Things are going good. We got it figured out now. This is going to be the last thing we do today. Yeah, this is going to be the last thing we do today. But we're going to build up these walls a bit. Put a crosswalk in. Wherever that is, right here. Excuse me, I was trying to grab that. Oh, wait, they can just walk across that because it's inside, can't they? Even better. Okay. Let's check our loan one more time. Alright, we owe 650. We might go broke, we might have to take another loan to pay it off. system right here. I 
once that's built, we will up our flight capacity by 25, I believe. Yeah, I think it's 25. And we'll put a wind sock out here because why not? And a weather station. I'm aware that I just spent way more money than I have, but we're going to go with it. Alright, got a bunch more traffic coming through the airport now. Why are you closed? Why are either of you closed? Oh, you don't open till 0800. I don't know why I'm talking at military time. I really don't. I think it's just because that's how it's laid out here. Alright. You are gonna be fully boarded and fully fueled in time to leave. That's amazing. We're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. We can make this building a bit smaller. But this allows for some expansion as well. What we could do... We could put a couple more medium gates up on this end. I think once that loan's paid off, that's what we're going to do. But I think that is going to be a project for next episode. So until then, thank you for watching.